Hello guys, welcome back to Keko Channel Balik lagi dengan gue Kenny Dan seperti biasa kita bakal lanjutin lagi permainan Dari Zero kita Dan bagaimana cerita selanjutnya Langsung aja kalian nonton video game ya I hope you guys enjoy this video game Did you sleep well last night, Mr. Natsuki? Yeah, I slept like a log As embarrassing as it is to say I was a bit short on sleep, so... We did stay up rather late. Regardless, I'm glad you had a good night's sleep. Breakfast is ready, so please, follow me. Subaru, do you have a moment? Uh, yeah. What's up, Rem? I have some rather distressing news. I can feel what Sister does through our synesthesia, though it's only in a vague sense. If I had Sister's clairvoyance, I would be much more capable of understanding the situation. So you're saying something's happened back at the manor with Ram and the others. What about Amelia? As I stated previously, it is only a vague sensation. But, from what I could tell through Sister... That bad, huh? And we can't waste any time here mulling it over. We need to get back to the mansion right away. Yes, of course. We must prepare the dragon carriage. Regarding the dragon carriage, I can make some arrangements. Oh, are you sure? That would be a huge help. Considering everything you've done for us, this is nothing. However, we must hurry. A traitor begins his morning earlier than most. There may not be many reliable land dragons left. Man, I'm starting to regret oversleeping. We need to hurry. If you want to use a dragon carriage, you should talk to the guy around back. You want to hear about our leader's heroic tales? I don't mind, but... Our leader already filled me in. You want to borrow a dragon carriage? I don't mind landing a dragon carriage, but I can only land one of these three right now. Which one do you want? Which land dragon do you recommend? I want to get to the Mather's Domain as fast as possible. Well, that one's definitely the fastest, but... It's decided then. I'll take it. Rem, let's get to the mansion. Stat! Please wait, Subaru. We should listen to what else he has to say. Huh? But Rem, we need to be quick about this. Rem can tell that this one is very tired. Even if it is the fastest runner. That's right, young lady. This one just returns from a long journey. It's pretty fatigued right now. It might be a bit much to ask for it to run non-stop all the way to the Mather's Domain. All right then, what else do you have? I'd like to borrow a land dragon that isn't tired. I just need to get there with even a second to spare. Hmm, a second to spare. In that case, this one should get you to your destination the fastest. The other land dragon is more suited to carry heavy cargo, but it's slower. If it's just carrying you two, this one might need to take a break along the way, but it should be fast enough. So you're saying we'll have to stop along the way? That's right. It wouldn't be able to run non-stop. It'll need to rest at some point. Subaru, Fleur Village is in the direction we're heading. Perhaps it would be best to rest there? Damn it! That guy could be going after Amelia! I need to get there as fast as possible, but who knows if we can if we stop midway! It's really slowing down! Yes, but we're almost at Fleur Village. We should rest there. Taking a break at a time like this?! Subaru, I understand how you feel. 
But we need to let this land dragon rest. Doing so is still the fastest way to get to everyone. I know, Rem. I know. But still... Subaru... <sighs> no, I'm sorry. Complaining to you won't change anything. I know we feel the same. What with you worried about Rom? Yes. Rem would also like to arrive as quickly as possible. And you said resting at Fleur Village will help us do that? Yes. Who knows what may lie ahead? It is best to recompose ourselves there. I got it, Rem. Let's at least make it to Fleur Village as fast as possible. should be nice and rested now. I don't think I can wait any longer, Rem. Did the land dragon get enough rest? Yes, I think it will be fine. Let us make haste. All right, let's put the pedal to the metal. Wait, please! Huh? The name on that dragon carriage. You're part of the caravan, right? Please listen to what I have to say. Sorry, but we're in a hurry. Wait, that voice. You're... Huh? Mr. Natsuki? Why are you using that dragon carriage? What's up, Otto? I thought you said you were headed to Gusteco to make it big. I had to put that on hold for the time being. You see, I'm practically penniless right now. The border between Lagunica and Gusteco has been closed off. So I'm stuck with all this oil I was planning on selling. At this rate, killing myself will be the only option left for me. And that's why you wanted to talk your options over with another trader from your caravan? Yes. Even if I wanted to resell all that oil in the royal capital, I just know I would be taken advantage of. So you came rushing over to a dragon carriage you recognized, and it just so happened to be us. Otto, I feel for you. I really do. But we're in a bit of a hurry. Then do you think you could at least introduce me to someone who would take all this oil off my hands? Subaru. <sighs> yeah, I know. We need to hurry. But I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if we just left him. Rem, you think Roswell would have a problem buying all this oil? Well, no. It would be easy for Lord Roswell to do so, but... All right, then. You know what they say. Even chance meetings can lead to deeper bonds. There's gotta be some reason why we met up here right now. Otto, I'll put in a request with my employer. So could you wait a little bit for an answer? Your employer? Do you mean Margrave Mathers? In that case, please let me accompany you. Staying here would be irresponsible of me. I don't think that's irresponsible, but we may encounter some threats along the way, so... All the more reason, then. I may not look it, but I can be quite helpful. You won't regret it. I did already prove my usefulness in battle once before, no? Well, sure, I remember, but I just can't guarantee your safety. Not to worry. If it means a chance at climbing myself out of this hole, then I fear nothing. You say that, but I still don't agree with you tagging along. I know how important this negotiation is to you, so I understand that you want to be present. But can you just place your trust in us on this one? I'll do my best to cut you a good deal with Roswell. Mr. Natsuki... I'm sorry, Otto. To be honest, there might be something really frightening out there. You already know that Melee is a royal candidate, right? There's a high chance that some really dangerous people might attack her over that. Knowing that, I don't want to put you in harm's way. So please, just wait here for the time being. All right, if you insist, then I'll do as you say. I'll be awaiting good news. 
Please, be careful. Thanks. See you later, Otto. Rem, let's hurry. Yes, let us make haste, Subaru. about sister and the others yeah let's go hang on Amelia we'll be there soon <laughs> what is it Rem the manor is close right Explain what's and she's gone. What are the likes of you doing here? Hmm. What? They're heading this way. <sighs> Don't you dare get near Subaru. to the manor. It would be best for you to return to Fleur, Subaru. This land dragon is easy to command. Subaru, I think you should be able to. What are you saying, Rem? I can't turn back after coming this far! Besides, there are those dangerous people hanging around here, right? We need to get to the manor as fast as possible. But... It's okay, Rem. I'm sure even I can be useful for something here. Please, just let me tag along. I want to be by Amelia's side just in the nick of time. Subaru. Now, let's hurry, Rem. I'm really worried about Amelia and the others. What the hell is this? Petra, Petra, please say something, Petra. <laughs> you saved me, Subaru. I'll pay you back when I'm older. This can't be happening. Petra, please wake up. <gasps> The ones who did this. <gasps> you did this to them. Real. Subaru, your 
eyes do not deceive you. You must accept the reality of the situation and focus on survival. Reality? This... Something like this... You're saying all of it's... real? Yes! At the very least, you must escape here alive, Subaru. Escape here? By myself? But what about Amelia? And Rom? Rem! What are you planning? Accept this reality. Please. Please just let this be a bad dream. Please. won't cooperate. What's going on? After falling over, I recognize the legs that are left standing, frozen solid to the ground. Those are my... 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 Before my eyes are the people clad in strange clothes. Rem and everyone else turn to ice. Die. Die. Voice thunders out coldly in this tundra. This frozen white world has taken everything from me. My eyes can no longer see. My skin has gone numb. Even though my legs have been severed, I feel no pain. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't protect Amelia or the people of Arlen Village. I couldn't even protect Rem. Is this the result of us going to the royal capital? I didn't accomplish anything by doing so. I really am useless. Where did I go wrong? It wasn't supposed to be like this. Not like this. My consciousness slowly leaves me. All I hear now is the wind blowing against me. But it isn't for long. Finally. The sounds around me fade, and I meet my end. So guys, jadi gua rasa videonya cukup sampai di sini dulu, dan gua kini, I'll see you on the next video. Bye gamers.